I made it to the Cité. If you guys follow our channel, you know that we came here in the fall and yep. we talk about it a lot on our channel. Like we've wanted to move here. We love it here. We have so much fun here. So we're back and we've actually never been to New York at this time of year. No, we haven't. We've never been for the spring. We've been in the fall in and the fall, winter. winter. We've yeah. never been in the summer. You've been either. in the summer, haven't you? Only to Long Island. You weren't in the city. Yeah. Yeah, so getting to experience a whole new season out here. Yes. The trees outside are blooming. We'll show you guys. And so pretty. We have like a magnolia pretty. tree and a cherry blossom tree out of our bedroom yeah. windows, and they're both stunning. Yep. We're staying in the same place, but the floor below. So it was kind of cool getting here last night because we just like, I felt like we were coming back to our old like house. Yes. Like we're like familiar. used to it. Yeah. Familiar. Yeah. So that's really nice. I do feel like we were like giddier the first oh, time yeah. that we got here because it was like such a big deal to us and we were just like so excited. We were like... It was fo so foreign. Like we were... Yeah. It was like the, the first of something in a way for us that was yeah. very like exciting and just intoxicating I feel like and this time we were also like super excited and super happy to be here but I felt like because we had already done it once before and we like came back to the place I was like I felt like I was coming somewhere familiar and it felt yeah. really comfortable, it felt comfortable which was right. good but it wasn't as electrifying like, yes yeah so that was kind of an interesting feeling so uh, yeah weird to compare those two experiences because yeah. like, we're doing the same thing that we did in the fall Completely different experiences, yeah. same thing, but we're still super excited. Yes. And like excited to go back to our places and you know, at, now it, we kind of feel like locals. So it's almost like we're getting the experience of being like, we have lived here in the past or something. Yeah. Where the first time was like, we had just moved here. Right. Now it's like, no, we've lived here for a while. Yeah. So we're kind of trying to hit like some of the spots that we went to before because we have missed them and we want them again. But there's so many food spots in New York that it's like, we still want to try new places because obviously there's so many yeah. good ones. We also packed so much lighter than we did oh, last yeah. time. And we got here last we'll night. We a hundred pounds lighter. And we unpacked and we have no clothes. Yep. So. We didn't bring anything. We didn't. Yep. So Actually, I literally forgot a bunch of stuff. He did. So Delaney came. From Delaney Miami. came straight from Miami and left me in charge of some extra bags and extra Wait, things. I can't with that. I'm like actually so scared that it's just gonna fly off your finger and like <laughs> I can't. Like, please don't. <laughs> Anyways, Delaney left me at home in charge of some last minute packing. Please, he forgot all of the underwear. That I, I don't have any underwear. He didn't bring any of my work. Books. Don't have any socks. Don't have any of her notebooks. I didn't bring like any of our vitamins. Wagon. Yeah, okay. so we're gonna have a friend go by the house and uh, ship us a couple things because since we're awesome. here long enough, we might as well we just. Need them. Yeah. Let's do it. this out guys look at JC just crushing it yeah Chelsea. and yeah sorry Chelsea love ya <laughs> <laughs> look at JC and Chelsea just about ready to come kill it the girls are slaying. the girls pulled up too yeah. like they're here for it's this a, it's a sold out show it's sold out I'm off, off the oh. proud of you guys excited to see you in action Yeah. 
stay in tonight because it was going to start raining. And then we're watching the basketball game, and they the news came on and said stay inside. Severe, so severe thunderstorm. So we're like, perfect. We'll just sit right here. Just order pizza. Order pizza. Literally, the, the lightning has been popping off up there. Come on, do it. Do it. But uh, I got Delaney trying Prince Street for the first time. No. I got it when she left town last time we were here. This is the vodka, vodka sauce. Mm. How is it? That's yummy. I like it. So good. And I gotta take my shirt off because this is oh. one of the only like four shirts I brought. Yeah, I forgot it was raining out there. So I can't risk getting pizza on this. Also, fun fact this is my shirt. Yep. It looks really good on Clayton. It's like a crop top. It's I'm in my crop know. top era. Yeah, it's like it's cool for guys to wear crop tops too. If you know, you know. Um, it's not like full belly. Like my belly's not out. No. But it's like a cropped shirt. I'm gonna look yeah. so good. It's from nudes. It's so random. And did we already tell you guys that he? Did we already tell you guys that he forgot his yeah, we did. socks and underwear? Yeah. So you were wearing my socks and underwear. I'm wearing your socks and your what underwear. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> this is not an R-rated channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, got our only fans right here by that. No, but. I <laughs> No, absolutely not. No, my shirt. Oh yeah, look how cute her shirt is. Honestly, it looks so good. I have these little Hanes box boxers that I love to wear, like at night, sleeping underwear kind of, or just like lounging underwear. So I lent a pair to Clean, and then the other day we were sitting here, and I was looking at his socks, and I was like, "Are those my socks?" <laughs> he was like, yeah, no, so. just, I'm wearing all your clothes. He's wearing all my clothes. We, we packed nothing, but we're going to make it through. Okay, today I am going to... Look at my hair. My hair's crazy right now. I'm going to a workout class with Sammy. I honestly don't know what's going on. Okay. It's a little concerning. I do not like my bangs right now either. I feel like they're way too long or something. I might cut them myself because I don't have a hair appointment scheduled. Yeah, I think I need to cut them. They're so long. I think that's what's bothering me so bad. I just popped in a piece of gum. I'm gonna walk to the workout class and I'm wearing my viral Amazon onesie. Um, Clayton's running some errands. What do I need? Chaos. Turn my water bottle. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk over there. I'm excited to see Sammy. She's like having all these events in the city. And it just worked out perfectly. And Alyssa's gonna be there, excited to see her as well and get a good little workout in. So, here we go. Say hi to my vlog. <laughs> All my friends are here. <laughs> Botaniste for lunch. Went here once last time. I love this place. So good. I got the Tibetan Mama. It's like a curry with rice. And then you got, what'd you get? I got this, uh, I got this last time too. It's pasta and everything here is vegan, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, with a vegan bolognese. And then I added these steamed vegetables on top, this vegan sour cream, and this is like a pesto sauce. Yeah. It's so good. And the pasta is quinoa sauce. So. Oh, it is? Yeah. It's so good. Like, this is a perfect, it's, healthy lunch. Yeah. Spot. It's, it's like so good. flavorful enough, too. Yeah. 
and we have just been eating like Italian dense yeah, Italian so food. So heavy and like the sugar loss and everything. It's nice to have a healthy meal, but it's still really satisfying. True. Show them, show them your new haircut. Oh yeah, I got my hair trimmed up today. And you just took a little bit off the top. A lot off the back. My back was like growing really crazy. And then trimmed up the sides. It looks so good. It turned out really good. I love it. We are doing a little shopping because we told you guys we packed like no clothes. It's still hard to know what you need to pack ahead of time for some things and the weather in New York literally changes so much day to day. So we packed pretty light. Oh well, no, that's funny. And we're just doing some shopping because one thing I love to do, no matter where I am, is shopping. So we're in Urban Outfitters right now. We have free people. We'll do a little haul when we get home. Also, I'm marinating in my self tanner right now. I'm literally wearing the ugliest outfit throughout New York City. And yesterday, I gave Clayton flack for wearing an ugly outfit, and here I am. Like, I just look so ugly. We just found this. It's like from their vintage section. Yeah, they have like a little vintage rack. Norm. Lively markets. And the lady found this one. Cute, a little rainbow, spring like a little rainbow shirt. And then Delaney's gonna get some flack for this. Just kidding. What? She got the LA hat in New York. Uh-oh. So Uh-oh. It's cute though. We're you guys wanna see a haul? Of the things we got? We literally are the worst packers. So we, yeah. we need clothes. Also, because I was wearing salt I didn't try anything on, so I have no idea. You know, we're just going on a whim and I'll return whatever I don't like because shop debt, free people, and Urban Outfitters, and they're both really easy returns. First stop, I snagged this right before we checked out from free people. It's like a little intimates piece, and I was actually inspired by my friend Louisa. She was wearing this really cute vintage piece that was similar to this the other day with like little hot pants or like really short biker short vibes kind of and boots or something I think and it was a lacy piece so I was thinking like this little number with my little black hot pants from White Fox that I'm obsessed with and these cowboy boots would be so cute I need to warm up for that but I think it's gonna be fun love Delaney so found this it's kind of like oh a no you actually dragged it on the ground and it got dirty yeah okay well Delaney got me this but I guess oh, I'll have to return no, 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 no. it it fell out of my hands while we were and then he like kicked it. I didn't know. I yeah, didn't he like came. stepped on it and like dragged it across the floor and it was like literally the lightest piece of clothing. You might be able to get that outlook on the back. I couldn't, but it's like this butter color. It's really nice. And it was on sale for freaking $40. I don't know if we're gonna be able to return that. I think you can get that out. If I wash that up. That's what happens. Don't, they me, don't a, let me touch anything, man. They had another one. You know, I'll ruin my clothes before I can even buy them. And then I got this little gingham crop top also from free people i need an extra small i hope it fits oh this is a cute springy vibe this is the norm jacket on hey this would be cute under that the norm jacket we're gonna share is this be cute under that or no yeah what with my cowboy boots what a spring vibe yeah with the cowboy boots this jacket's really really good yeah, really so happy nice. on this one i like it perfect and then i got this little cardigan from free people as well I got a pair of uh, running pants because it's cold running. out here. He's so fast now, you guys. Okay. Tell them how fast you are. I run sub eight minute miles. That was like for, a lot faster than he was. For right? eight miles. So I ran I ran eight miles in an hour. Proud, proud of you, babe. <clears throat> oh. Working my way to my half marathon. Yep, coming soon. I also got this little necklace at Free People that is so springy and cute. There's like kind of a little shamrock on it. That's why I, that's what really drew me to it. Let's see. How cute is this little beaded number? Love her. I was really bad at packing jewelry too. All my necklaces get like so tangled when I pack them, so I barely pack any. And then I got this hat because I ordered this blue sweater. From naked that's coming here and i thought that was, this would be so cute with it and i just we love hats obviously in this family let me look out with this jacket he loves it norm loves it perfect. this is also something we looked out with this was on the thrift pack and it's like this little rainbow cardigan thing and it was on sale for like 15 bucks or something and then i got this like oversized 
flowy button up. I thought that this would also be cute with like my hot pants, maybe a little hat, maybe the LA hat, and my cowboy boots. I'm just, I want to style the cowboy boots a lot right now, I guess. And then this little like moto jacket was fun. I hope it's cute on. It was inspired. But so we'll see what's actually a vibe once I'm done marinating, but that was fun. You love shopping. You love shopping? We love shopping, Norm. I like to shop. Norm. But I think you love it. Norm. 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 No. Like, I enjoy it, but it's not mm. my, like, favorite activity. Okay, Norm. I mean, it's just, it's just like a, it's a lot of work. Shopping's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. And it's it's kinda so like, oh, God. if you do it, like, all day. Yeah. I cannot get over the cherry blossoms. I like to sit. I like it. It's kind of grassy. It's kind of grassy. Show, yep. them, show them the cherry blossoms one more time. Cherry blossoms are on fire. Stunning. Hi, guys. Check out the whip. Got that apple, apple red boots with the fur. The whole club is looking like at her. You like red seats? It's kind of a vibe. Uh oh, she's a red seat girl. <laughs> we are going on a little road trip for the next couple of days to the Hamptons. So I don't know if I've ever shared this or not. I feel like most people probably don't know, but my best friend from back home is actually from Long Island and a bunch of her family still lives here. She moved to Reno, I think when she was in like middle school or something and we became friends in high school. And back in high school, I used to come stay out here with her a couple times because she loves it like it's great her family still lives out here so well, summer vacay yeah we would have high so school, much high fun. school summer vacay yeah you come in college too it came the summer that we graduated high school too so like in between but vibes are you picking up a bunch of dudes oh, i picked up every dude oh, there's picked the up the dudes i had a boy you had a what i always had a boyfriend babe <clears throat> serial monogamous let's talk about that <laughs> Okay, anyways, I don't have a boyfriend anymore. I have a you don't? Oh, Beyonce. <laughs> I ain't no boyfriend, that's kind of sad. I know. You can still be my boyfriend. Please. Okay. I am still really close with her family. I talk to her aunts all the time. I love them, I adore them, and they're always like, you can come stay with us. So we are finally doing that this time. I'm really excited because Clayton's never been there. Um, and her family is just so great. I love all of them. So we're gonna go bop around for a couple days. It was so hot in the city right now yeah. too, so it's kind of nice to like 88 in the city. Get today. out to the ocean. It's a little bit cooler, so we're gonna have fun. And we are in a Lexus right now that we are borrowing, and it's so nice. The red interior, really, obviously. Really nice. And so it's kind of fun that we get to like have a little road trip. Yep. Little vibe. Road trip snack, of course. I don't know, driving like a race car. Mm. Okay. okay. Mm. You're scaring you. It's good maneuverability. Maneuvers go. Maneuvers good. Yeah. So. Come along on our Hamptons weekend. A little Hampton vibe. They need to give me more Garditos. What's your favorite thing in there? The Garditos. And there's like none in there. I like. They the have one. a bag. I thought you liked the mix. No, I like. The they have a bag of all Garditos in there. Do you want me to go get it? No, it's okay. We need to like save for lunch. Picked up some Claritin. Oh my god, my hands are so orange. I need to wash my tan off. But they have dogs. They have labs, and I guess I'm a little allergic to dogs. So usually, if I just take an allergy pill before I go to my grandparents, it's fine. So hoping this works today too. First stop is a little deli. Deli time. Here he comes. <laughs> Please. There's about to be a story. Oh, it's locked. Ready for this story. Holy moly. Oh, that is good. <laughs> right. This is literally so big. Oh my goodness. Isn't that so good? Yeah, it's perfect. I mean, it's like iced tea. It's lemon iced tea. It's not sweet tea. Mm -mm. But it is a little sweet, but it's not like Snapple sweet. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Well, 
Miss you, Casey. How's it good? Literally giant. I can't believe they're that big. The quiet streets of West Hampton. So nice. No people around. It's just like so peaceful. A little break from the city. Yeah. Gonna go grab a coffee. Wake ourselves up a bit. Looks like it's called outdoor seating. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> caffeine, it might just be called caffeine. It's a half, a half latte, half black coffee. If anybody's wondering what our little uh, car looks like, this little red racing car. It's got a little black rims on it. Sporty. Delaney drove out here today. Super cute though. Never would never would own a red car, but it's kind of fun to drive one for a couple days. We came out to a little winery today. I'm not sure what uh, town it's called, but we're in at James Port Winery, and it's so precious and cute out here. My goodness. It's like a little fairy tale kind of vibe, it feels like. So pretty. There's like little flowers, little wildflowers in the grass. Like little purple ones, yellow ones, white ones. It's so cute. All the houses were so cute. We love just like seeing different parts yeah. of the world. It's a little, it's not like Napa, but I mean just with the winery, the winery vibe. vibe yeah. Kind of like, uh, Kind of reminds me of Tennessee a little bit. Yeah, too. Tennessee. It really reminds me of Tennessee. We were driving Tennessee. Yeah. It reminds me of Hunter Dude's area for sure. But we're going to go check out this winery. Oh, Cute. James Port. Albarino and Savion Bond. Cute. Cute clipper. The pretty girl. I'm going to wear white all the time. Really? White through color. Well, that's like the recipe. My winery fit. In my era of wearing white dresses, this one is a little sheer. So it's good for like a vacay or if you're just feeling like you don't care about that, like I am, obviously. It's so cute though. I'm wearing a small. From Naked, I have a coat, so we'll link it for you guys. So cute. You look cute too. I brought two shirts. Alright, we packed the gum. I brought this. We look crazy. the same thing. This dress is so cute. I love it. I'm literally just gonna keep wearing cute white outfits. So, hope you guys are into I that. I love it. You look great, boy. <laughs> oh, and I also wanted to show you guys my earrings. Get all this hair out of the way. These little earrings are kind of like little leaves or like lily pads or something. I think they're so cute. And they're actually not heavy in my opinion. They're really light. Um, I'm having fun with like a little fun statement earring. <laughs> About to head for lunch. That's all there is to do here in New York City. Eat. Eat, eat, eat. Eat and drink. That's what we're doing. We're just really embracing it. And I'll show you guys. Oh crap. Her outfits. I love your outfits. I'm even happy she turned the corner and saw me wearing my vest. I love the vest, okay? Where's Coachella last one, year? One year ago this weekend. Coachella. Oh, Coachella. Coachella. Are looking like a New York City snap. Oh. Oh. Where were you? Okay. My outfit? Camera died. My outfit is very clean. Okay. Little cargo. And a little back Backless. It's cute though. Yeah, it is. Comfy. And the trees are here. Look at this. We left for two days and we came back and literally this tree is filled. Pop, pop. 
Beautiful. On our usual morning routine. Walking to breakfast after sleeping in until about 8.30. That's on you. That's just on me? Yeah. What time do you get up? 7.30. 7.30? I think so. You let me sit in that bed like a sack of potatoes for a whole hour? Yep. Oh. It happens, brother. It happens. Our brother in the crosswalk just Lost his dropped his coffee. Yeah, well, I sleep in. Have to in New York. I sleep in. Delaney's up and roaring. Well, you wanted to watch that basketball game last night. Oh, yeah, I stayed up. Sleep extra. Stayed up till 12 30 watching basketball. Only to have the Warriors lose. If you guys are basketball fans, this is going to be a tough series. But I'm not sure what to think. It's scrappy, it's intense. All right, but we're going to Bubby's. Bubby's the goat. We love you, Bubby's. We love you, Bubby. It's just a classic breakfast since 1990. It's so cute. Since before we were born. So we just hit the gym. I look so tired today. All the partying, dude. Freaking basketball game. No. Yeah. All your partying you've been doing. Literally, I had a beer last night. <laughs> but every day you're partying. Yeah, but when I go to bed early, I feel amazing. Going to bed early is my number one priority in life. Sometimes Not me. Sports gets in the way. That's literally. I mean, I don't mind it, but I'm good. You know, I got to sleep in a little bit. And just... Yeah. No, I was watching a TikTok today from like a holistic dietitian yeah. and she was giving these um, a list of wellness things that actually work yeah and one of them was going to bed early I believe it I believe it. I mean I, I get it one yeah I'll do that. Know, getting sunlight in the morning all these good things what about sleeping in until night that, that's not one so no. um but we just went to the gym and now let's rest um now we hit the grocery store, got a few little groceries. This is how we grocery shop in New York. Yeah. You just go for what you need. We've been getting like so little because it's more fun to eat out here, but it's very excessive as well. So, a couple Literally, things for breakfast, a couple things for lunch, but we're not wasting dinner, so. Mm -hmm. Best food in the world. Excessive, it's very, very excessive. We're having fun.